you can now turn your web app idea into a full web app or a website or whatever you intend to make without any coding experience. You heard me right. You don't have to learn how to code. You don't have to write a single line of code thanks to this. This is called Cursor and they dub it the AI code editor. And it's fairly simple. If you head over to cursor.ai, you have a video here which will explain you what this does. You can just Google for it like this and it's going to be the first result. In a nutshell, you know how these image generators work? You just put in a prompt and then it spits out the picture or the image or whatever. Well, it's the same thing, but in this case, it gives you the code for something. Let's just say that you want to make a front end for a single website. Even the back end works, but let's just say that you want to make the front end for a e-commerce store or a blog about fitness, whatever. Well, all you have to do is to tell it to the AI in natural language, all right? Just like you would use ChatGPT. So whether you want to use it for yourself, maybe for your own business, or you want to sell this service to someone else through some platforms like Fiverr or I don't know what, it is up to you, all right? The most important part is that AI made it possible for you to make whatever app you'd like just by using prompts. So no coding is needed. This is essentially why I wanted to make this video because this is for non-technical people, right? I wanna show you that anyone today can make websites. And yeah, it kind of started with like WordPress where you had the drag and drop system, right? But this is even better. And I'll show you now how you can combine two tools in order to make something beautiful. So let's start with it. This is the first tool. It's called Cursor. Already mentioned it. Just make yourself an account and download it for free. This is a tool. It's a software which will go to your computer, right? And then you will install it. The second tool is called Replit. Now, Replit is just giving you the result, right? So how this works, you put a code on the left-hand side here, and on the right-hand side here, you can see how it performs. So you can see it in action. So if you are making a certain website, it will show you how that website looks like. And then, of course, if you don't like something, you can change it right away with Cursor. It's really interesting and it can be fun as well. And this one is inside your browser, right? So this one you don't have to download. This is just for showing you how your app or your design or your game or your website looks like, all right? You can Google for Replit like this one. It's replit.com. So we are in Cursor right now, all right? This is the inside of it. And as you can see, this is the new file. And all you have to do is to start giving it a prompt. In order to do so, you just have to hold down Control or Command key on a Mac and then just press the K button, right? As you can see right here, new code instructions. Maybe you can see this one, so I'll just increase the size. The shortcut for it is just Control plus plus, but here it is. I'll just show it to you like this. So appearance and down there, zoom in. Maybe you can just now see it better. So let's just imagine that you want to build a fitness blog or a website. I will use this example because I saw that a lot of people are making huge deals of money on Fiverr only to make designs for websites. And this is something that you can do and basically anyone can do. In fact, I honestly think that we should put this in elementary schools, right? As you can see, this girl, for example, she's making it with WordPress, but this is going to be far more easier, right? And you can get great deals of money with this one. So let's just get back to it. Let's just say that you have a client or you want to make this for yourself. So this is what we would write. Create a code for a website slash blog about fitness and its importance. Have some places for images and places for text as well. I want to have a menu on top and also I want to have a drop down menu on the left hand side of the screen. So as you can see, a simple, simple prompt in natural language is going to generate you this after you click on generate, as you can see, 
it already started, right? How beautiful this is and how fast this is, right? So as you can see, it's just writing me the code for my website. And if you already have some knowledge about coding, you will see that this is already like, it's just, it's extraordinary. So we have our code now. What am I gonna do now? Well, we wanna see it in action. And this is Replit inside of Replit, right? And you have to make yourself an account, of course, and then just click here on Create Repl. That's how they call it, it's Repl. Click on Create Repl, and then you have to choose the template, right? So whether your program or an app requires Python or Node or whatever, you will select that. But for this case, if you just wanna build a website, this is what you need, HTML, CSS, and Java, you know, you just click that. And then you can just give it a name. So I will just go with fitness example, right? So I'll just do it like that. Create REPL here, and then it'll open up like this. So here in the middle or the left, this is where you will paste your code, right? And here, it's gonna show you how it's gonna look like. So for example, this is a placeholder on Replit itself. So if you click here on run, it's gonna run this code here. And as you can see, it's just gonna print out hello world because this is what it has been instructed to do so, right? So I'll just delete this now. I will go back to cursor. I will copy the entire thing then move back to Replit. I'll paste the entire code and then just click run, all right? And it's not gonna take a lot of time. Have a look at this fitness blog. I have this menu that I wanted to have. And then I have this drop down menu for workouts, nutrition, wellness, and then recent posts. And then of course, this is gonna be a link for a one article, whatever I wanted to make, and then it's gonna be for the workouts, right? So as you can see, it's gonna be responsive as well. If people see this on phones, this is how it's gonna look like. If people see this on desktops, this is how it's gonna look like, right? So as you can see, pretty, pretty powerful. And what's even better, you can change whatever you like, all right? If you don't like the color of it, you can change the color of it. Just go back to the cursor. If you know anything about it, you will know that this is the background color here that is shown here. So for example, let me just switch to it. It's green and as you can see, it is green here as well. But if you don't know anything, if you just don't wanna mess yourself with the code, just go and click here, follow up instructions, all right? So let's just say that I wanted that to be red. Well, just type it in, just like you talk to a normal person. Make the background color red, all right? Click on Submit Edit, and it's gonna write it, right? It's just gonna fix that one. As you can see, the background color is red, but I should have put the header there, right? So I'll just correct myself now. So I'll just delete this one. So make the header background color let's just go with blue all right i'll do it like this so as you can see it is fixing it right now background color is now blue it's just going to change that everything is going to stay the same i'll just now copy the entire thing one more time i'll move to replit i can just delete this one i can just paste it and click on run once more and as you can see real time this is now blue but because we ordered the red background for everything we just got this. Now, whatever you want to choose, whatever you want to change, you just type that in, all right? There is also a thing which is gonna connect Replit with cursor in real time, right? So you don't have to copy and paste the entire code every time you make a change. But that is a paid version of it. You have to be a subscriber on Replit in order to connect these two, right? You have to spend some tokens and some other technical stuff. And you don't have to know that in order to create these websites, right? All you gotta do is to just copy and paste the thing. But if you wanna go and you know become a subscriber, if you just wanna earn a lot of money with this one and you can actually, you can just go and yeah, subscribe yourself. I'm not affiliating for them. You will not find any links down there in the description. So I'm just telling you the possibilities of this. And as I've already shown you, there's a lot of people making money this way and anybody can do this right now. 
I think the price is going to go down once people discover that even teenagers can now code. But it is going to depend on the quality, right? So my suggestion, if you want to make money with this one, just go and introduce yourself to Cursor and Replit and just see the possibilities and just play with it for some time. Because after all, there's going to be a big, you know, there's going to be a big difference between people who just invested their time into actually learning the app and between the people who just do it like, you know, with no dedication and with no interest at all, right? So don't just do this for money, right? If you want to code, if that was your, like, wish, if you only ever wanted to code and make websites, this is now possible to you without the need to learn to code, right? There is a tool for that. AI made it possible. But yeah, you have to at least be interested in it and you can make a lot of money. So yeah, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.